All right, this morning we're going to discuss uh, <clears throat> the view error incorrect syntax near declare and the hack around. This pops up when we're trying to use a variable in a view. So as a case in point, I would like to select star from this table right here where the name date is greater than or equal to the variable B, which as we see is seven days ago. And if I try to create this view, it's going to come back with this incorrect syntax near the keyword declare. Um, because we cannot use this variable in a view, okay? We cannot use variables in a view. And you'll notice that the query runs fine independently of a view. Okay, so one of the ways in which we can kind of do a hack around, and this is really useful because I like variables and I like um, uh, going with these, using variables, I mean, because of code reuse, I can reuse them, is I can actually build a common table expression in a view and I can, in that common table expression, select the cast date add, again, this date value here, as P, basically standing for past. Then I'm going to select my values from the table, the view table. I'm going to cross apply this common table expression. And then I'm going to say where the name date is greater than or equal to P. Now, uh, the first thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and produce all the values just so that you see where this is coming from. Um, P. Okay, so when we cross apply in this query, what it's doing is it's going to apply this column to everything in the table, right? Okay, so it kind of gives us a, a secret column now that we can use. So we can remove this because all we're looking for is the values in this view table, and we're going to look at it where it's greater than or equal to P. So it should be if we look at um, these values. These two, Jack and Jill, should not return in this query. And you'll notice that they don't. So now let's go ahead and put it in our view. And notice there's no error. And now we can select from our view, and it returns it. And of course, we can check and make sure Jack and Jill should not be in there. Okay. So just a quick review. Cross apply. You can cross apply a common table expression. And then when you cross apply the common table expression, you can then filter um, with the cross apply where you want in terms of your value. So this basically operates as a variable or as a variable would in like a stored procedure or whatnot. So that will provide you with a hack around when you're trying to put a variable in a view and you can't just go ahead and throw a common table expression, use cross apply, and then in your where clause apply your filter.